I'm not telling you what I'm wearing. Why, sir? Why are you asking? I smell good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another video. If you are new, hi, my name is Shani Stevens. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on my channel, and I'm also a makeup artist. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely come back and watch more videos and subscribe before you leave so in today's video i am finally doing my perfume collection i know y'all asked a year ago when i did my purse collection under 80 dollars so yeah it's been a little minute since i've been building my collection and just not fine tuning it but naturally just coming across fragrances and buying them and putting them into my collection so if you guys are interested in what i be smelling like Today is the day I want to share my fragrances with y'all and I just want to put a little disclaimer I'm not a professional when it comes to the world of perfumery. I just really like to smell good also like to look good so Yeah, I'm just a girl that like to smell good. So if you guys are interested in my fragrances, let's go ahead and get into this video Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with my first two most complimented fragrances and it has to be ariana broken cloud i really hope that's the name of this i have to look at the the title again but it has to be this ariana fragrance and a spicy orchid that's inspired by tom ford now let's just talk about miss ariana i'm gonna pull her up because this one is gone do y'all see this it's gone because i wouldn't put it down and the fact that i got a 1.7 ounce i think that's what this one is I should have just got the 3.4 ounce. So this is Ariana Thank You Next Eau de Perfume. And the 3.4 ounce is $65. A very affordable fragrance. And the fact that it smells so good. This is like very intoxicating. This is very captivating, seductive at the same time. But very playful as well. When I... Oh, oh my God. Every time I wear this fragrance, everybody is always pulling me to the side or asking me what I'm wearing. If I have it on me, they want to spray it on them. If I'm around a man, he's just like, what are you wearing? <laughs> and I never I never say what I'm wearing. I just, you know, I'm, n I'm not going to tell you what I'm wearing, especially if it's a man. I'm not telling you what I'm wearing. Why, sir? Why are you asking? I smell good. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> But this fragrance right here really be having everybody up in arms. And I'm not even trying to be funny. It's actually insane how people react to this fragrance on me. I really can't even describe it. I can just give you guys vibes and how it makes me feel and how people react to it. So yeah, this is a very outspoken fragrance and that's not me. I'm not super, well, it depends on the situation, but I'm not a super outgoing, outspoken person. I'm usually like to myself and a little quiet depending on who I'm around, but this is a very outspoken fragrance and she is the it girl and she gets her way. So this is a floral fragrance. The scent type is gourmand. The top notes in it is white pear, wild raspberry. The middle notes are creme de coconut pink rose petals and the base notes are macaroon sugar and velvet musk this is a very complex yet seductive yet playful yet outspoken very feminine pretty girl fragrance like i know when i put this on people are going to come up to me and be like oh my gosh you're so pretty or you smell so good what do you have on i'm telling y'all you just have to go smell this fragrance I don't know if it's my body chemistry that does it to this fragrance, but this has to be my most complimented fragrance. People be pulling me to the side, asking me what I have on. Like I said at the beginning, people actually want to take this out of my bag and put it on themselves. It's so good. You just have to try. So yeah, that's Miss Ariana Grande. Thank you, next perfume. I call it the broken heart perfume. So if you ever are watching me vlog or anything and I say I have on the Broken Heart perfume, it's this one. Now the next fragrance and is a combination of my travel size. This is Spicy Orchid and this is from Dossier. These perfumes are $39 and I got three of the scents that are inspired by designer perfumes. So this one is Spicy Orchid and is inspired by Tom Ford. This fragrance right here, I just... It's fresh, yet very sweet. 
The top notes in it are cinnamon, pink pepper, mandarin. The middle notes in it is lang lang, orchid, plum. And the base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, incense, and petroleum. This is a very thick yet fresh scent. It's a very beautiful scent. And it, I don't know, it's alluring. I think this is a very good nighttime, but you can also wear it during the daytime because it's so light and airy, but it's still very deep in a sense. And it's thick. To me, when I think of it, I just think of getting Vaseline and wiping it on myself. It's a very thick, full, seductive scent. And it smells just like the Tom Ford Orchid because I did really want to buy the Tom Ford Orchid. But when I seen the price, when I seen the price of that scent, I think it was like $275. In my mind, that's $300 for a fragrance. The bottle is gold and I think it would look really pretty on display, but I was not spending $300 on a fragrance just yet. I do eventually want to get it or it might get gifted to me, but just know. This smells exactly, exactly like the Tom Ford Black Orchid Eau de Perfume. And the concentration is 18% and it smells so good. And this bottle is only $39. So I can literally buy like four or five of these for the price of the Tom Ford one. And I love that for me. And I love that for y'all too. This portion of the video is sponsored by Dossier. So thank you so much Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. And if I have any coupon codes, I will link them on the screen or down below in my description box for y'all. And I'm not even trying to sell y'all anything. It literally smells like the fragrance. I put this on a couple days after I put on the Tom Ford fragrance and my mom had the same reaction. She was just like, I really want that perfume that you have on. I was just like, she don't even know that I'm wearing a different fragrance from a different company. But yeah, this one is so good. And I think this is what I'm going to wear today. So yeah, thank you so much, Dossier, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Moving on to my other fragrances. I do have some more Dossier fragrances that I want to show y'all, but we'll, we'll get to those. So the next fragrance that's really, really complimented is this Black Opium fragrance. And I have another Dossier inspired fragrance that's supposed to smell exactly well it does it does smell exactly like this okay, so ambery vanilla is supposed to be an inspired fragrance of the black opium now this black opium fragrance right here it has coffee in it and it's a very strong scent but very elegant and very sophisticated when i wore this scent to dinner i got compliments like you smell wealthy wealthy i smell are you serious? I smell wealthy. I've never got a compliment like that before. And that's, oh my gosh, it's so vanilla. It's, it smells like vanilla. It's so sweet, but very like clean cut. So if you are not in the market of spending money on the Black Orchid, please try out Ambery Vanilla. It smells exactly like it. It's, it's actually insane how much these fragrances smell like the fragrance. Usually I'll mix the Black Opium or the Black Opium Inspired Fragrance with I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess. And this one smells like marshmallows. If you have not purchased this fragrance, please purchase it. It smells so good. And I don't even know how I decided to like mix these. I don't know. I just be mixing all of my fragrances just to see what it smells like. But yeah, these two together <gasps> smell so good like edible but not in a nasty way you know what i'm saying it's just like i want to be in your skin i want to be around you i want to hug you i want to keep sniffing you and i like the fact that it has a big air bubble i like when my fragrances pulsate if that makes sense i want you to smell me i don't have fragrance on for you not to smell me you know what i'm saying but don't be weird <laughs> but yeah these perfumes right here mm, eat me up <laughs> They smell so good. This is definitely date night. Date night, rooftop, a sit down, dinner. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. I don't have the biggest collection, but the collection that I do have, everybody likes every scent that I be wearing. And it's just, I don't know what else to say. Moving on to Miss Billie Eilish. Now, Miss Billie Eilish is very powdery, vanilla-y, <laughs> and 
and it's a very cute scent especially for every day i needed an everyday scent because i kept wearing her because this is another scent that i would wear in the daytime and you can also wear it at night but miss billy is very it, it's like a dessert you smell like a fresh crisp dessert that's not super overpowering is a light and airy it won't make you sluggish but it's just the amount of sugar that you need to you know get through the night that's the vibe that this gives me but i can also wear this throughout the day and it just smells really 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 good at first i was a little taken back because i thought it was going to be a little bit stronger oh this is also vegan and majority of the dossier perfumes are vegan as well if you are more prone to headaches when it comes to perfumes look into vegan perfumes that aren't too strong um, but me personally, I like a strong scent because I want you to smell me. But I also don't want the perfume to give me a headache, which is what I was running into when it came to building my collection. A lot of fragrances would give me headaches and not even headaches, migraines. My head would be booming. So yeah, all of these fragrances are good. They're clean ingredients. They don't give me a headache. They are strong depending on the scent that I have. But they don't give me headaches so if you are worried about these fragrances giving you a headache take it from me they don't give me a headache so yeah and i be spraying these like i i drown myself in these fragrances okay so this is the 3.4 ounce it retails for 72 dollars affordable like i said it's vegan clean ingredients and it's cruelty free and it's a part of the amber gourmand fragrance family the top notes are sugar petals mandarin warm berries the middle notes is creamy vanilla soft spices cocoa and the base notes in it is sleek woods warm musk and tonka bean <sighs> oh, it's so good it's so good it's such a warm yet cozy marshmallow-y soft airy bubble of scent i Ugh, I really like the way this smells. Moving on to Ariana Grande Cloud, and this is a very popular fragrance. So I came across this fragrance around the holiday season. I was just walking through um, JC Penney's because y'all know that Sephora isn't inside of JC Penney's anymore. Um, the contract ended, so Sephora is inside of Kohl's now. So I was walking through JC Penney and I came across JC Penney Beauty and this was just sitting on the display and it's very cute. So I was just like, "Ooh, it's so cute and pretty and it's a cloud and it's it's literally just a very cute display to sit on wherever you want to sit your fragrances at." And then I sprayed it. And I was just like, <laughs> "Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute." It smells so good. It's a strong scent, but it's very light and airy, and I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's a scent. And a lot of people have been comparing this fragrance to 540 Baccarat Rouge. I'm not familiar with that scent because I've never uh, smelled it. I probably should ask my best friend because my best friend has Baccarat Rouge. I need to take this to her and see if she, see if it's a dupe. I don't know, but all I know that it smells good it's a very sophisticated smell in my opinion still feminine a little bit of masculine it retails for $65 it's cruelty free the fragrance family is warm and spicy oh I can see that warm and spicy and the scent type is gourmand the keynotes in it are lavender blossom which are the top notes I'm starting with top notes lavender blossom juicy pear and bergamot the middle notes is creme de coconut indulgent praline vanilla orchid and the base notes are sensual musk creamy blonde woods this is a very very light airy but powerful scent i really really like it and before i started getting a bunch of perfumes i was saying that i don't like floral scents but all of my perfumes that i have in my collection are floral so I'm not sure why I keep saying I don't like floral scents when I clearly, clearly floral scents like me. <laughs> but yeah, really like this fragrance. Very affordable. Y'all see the oop. Y'all see that it's almost gone. Um so yeah. And speaking of Baccarat 540 Rouge, this is also another inspired fragrance. And if this smells like Baccarat Rouge, 
because this smells like cloud. It smells identical. Baccarat Rouge 540 inspired. 18% concentrate. The top notes is saffron, orange blossom. The middle notes in it is jasmine, plum, cedarwood. The base notes in it is oak musk, firm, I don't know how to pronounce that, and amber. This, if this smells like Baccarat Rouge, these are dupes. I'm trying not to spray it on me because it smells a little bit different once I put it on me. I feel like it turns sweeter once I put it on me and that's that's another thing when it comes to these fragrances or any fragrance that I wear for some reason my body chemistry makes the fragrance smell a lot more sweet than it really is um, and I've noticed that with any fragrance that I wear and I noticed that with how people react to the fragrance because I can spray a fragrance on me that's a little bit stronger but a lot of people say that when I wear fragrances it smells very sweet like it, it I don't know I don't know how to explain that I don't know what that means but I've been hearing that Cloud from Ariana Grande is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge and this one is also inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 so if you're in the market for a fragrance and you don't want to spend almost $400 on a fragrance because I've also heard that Baccarat Rouge is like $400. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, I think this this is 65, this is 39. Get one of them because they smell really, really good. This is a daytime scent that you can wear in the evening as well. They, they smell really, really good. Um, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> it smells so good it smells so so good okay moving on to Donna Boin and Roma perfume this is another floral fragrance that's very sophisticated very powerful is a very beautiful scent now this is another perfume that I probably would not wear during the day I will wear this after 6 p.m. just because look at the bottle it screams wear me at night and I'll be wearing it at night. Just look at the bottle. And it also comes with a cologne that complements it ever so nicely. Like, if Fine Couple was a fragrance duo, it would be this fragrance with the cologne that comes with it. Well, not comes with it, but there's a cologne that complements this for men and women. But I feel like if you're with your man and he has the cologne on and you have the perfume on, it screams fine as couple to me. Hold on, let me, I gotta read the notes for y'all. Okay, so the title of it is Donna Born in Roma Intense Luda Perfume. And it retails for $156. And it's a part of the floral ambery fragrance family. The top note in it is vanilla. The middle note in it is trio jasmine. And the base note is benzoin. Benzoin. Benzoin or benzoin one of the two but it smells so so good and it's a very spicy yet floral yet sweet yet thick juicy fragrance does that make sense it probably doesn't I really hope y'all try some of these fragrances out because Listen, the proof is in the pudding. Everybody says it smells good. Okay, moving on to my newest fragrance, which is Prada Intense. Moment of silence for this fragrance right here. Of course, it's a part of the floral family. It is more floral than all of my other fragrances, I should say, but it's definitely very powerful and strong. Um, and it gets to the point. It's not too intense to the point where it's gonna give you a headache, but it's intense to the point where people are gonna ask what you're wearing or people are just gonna say you smell good. Like you smell really, really good. What do you have on? That's that's this right here. Um, this was sent to me in PR and I really appreciate it because perfumes can get very expensive as you guys can see. But let's get into the notes. So this is Prada Intense Buddha Perfume. I have the 1.6 fluid ounce and it retails for $135. The top notes in it is Jasmine Ambrofix. 
and Moss Accord. If I'm not pronouncing this stuff correctly, please. <laughs> please, I'm trying. It doesn't have vanilla in it at all. It's just a floral scent to the tea. I'm really excited that they came out with this one because the other one was good, but this one is better. I'm sorry, this one is better. <laughs> It smells better on me. Let me just say that. Moving on to my last three fragrances. Pink Sugar has to be my oldest fragrance that I wear. Um, Y'all see that I have the 1.6. And this is the 3.4 ounce. Now, this is a very playful scent. It reminds me of childhood. It reminds me of just being young. Well, I'm still young. But it just reminds me of being a teenager. But it's a very beautiful scent that you can grow up with. Like, I still spray this. I think it still smells very, very good. I remember I used to wear this in high school. And there was a girl that sat behind me. And this will always make her sneeze. Like, that's the memory that I have from high school wearing this perfume. I've been wearing this scent for years. For a long time, this was the only thing that I was smelling like. Because I... I just wasn't changing it up at all and now that I have more fragrances I'm changing it up a little bit just because I didn't want to keep smelling like the same thing when I tell y'all this is all I used to wear with like oils and stuff like that but when I tell y'all this is all I used to wear this is all I used to wear so the notes in it is musk sandalwood and tonka bean and it also has vanilla in it and bergamot if y'all have not remembered any of these scents or notes in my fragrances pretty much all of my fragrances have a lot of the same notes sandalwood the tonka bean the vanilla especially vanilla i'm a vanilla girl through and through and then bergamot and also musky i do like musky scents but not too musky because i feel like musky can very quickly become masculine if, if that makes sense very playful it smells like cotton candy it just reminds me of of course childhood and being a teenager but it also reminds me of like Candyland and just doing whatever you want and freeing and bubbly that's what this scent smells like it's a very playful daytime scent very energetic and this is this is always going to be close to my heart because it's just I don't know I really really like the way it smells and like I said this is my oldest bottle of perfume that I used to wear I started wearing it in high school so yes now one of my friends actually bought this for me and she would not tell me where she got it from because for years i could not figure out where to buy the actual perfume now the roll on oil scent i could find that at a beauty supply store or i can find that with anybody that sells fragranced oils but to find the actual bottle i don't know why it's so hard to find this one but it's always very hard to find i know one year i found it at marshall's this year i found it at walmart another year i found it at tj maxx it honestly just pops up randomly but yeah hopefully this becomes a little bit more accessible but honestly i kind of want it to stay not too accessible because i can always get my hands on it because it's just it's just one of my favorite scents so yeah moving on to my last two fragrances i have teas from victoria's secret and Libre. Now let's get into the scent right here. This is a very grown woman scent. It doesn't smell like old lady, but it's just a very strong scent. Very sophisticated, very sure of one's self. That, that's what this gives me. The bottle is very elegant. It's sleek, modern, clean cut lines. I have the three point, wait, I think this is the 3.0 fluid ounce um now when i first got this fragrance <laughs> i was not a fan like i knew it smelled good but i also was like i wouldn't wear that because it's just very out of the normal it's very striking this is not a perfume that I, you just wear every day this is a perfume that you bring out on specific occasions for a specific reason you don't just throw this fragrance around and it takes a little bit of time to warm up to this is not a for everybody scent. This is a very mature scent. This gives grown woman. And you just have to have grown woman taste to like the scent. Okay, so this one retails for $155 for the 
o fluid ounce and the fragrance family is warm floral the key notes in it which i'm starting with top notes is lavender essence the middle notes is orange blossom and the base notes in it is musk accord i don't really get warm floral i just get like floral but it smells really good like i said it's a very mature yet sophisticated scent and it's fresh and freeing and it demands the room when you walk into the room people are going to be like who is that i need to get to know her so that's this one moving on to teas this one right here you can't get any more but i really really like it it's a very fresh floral sweet playful scent that you can wear every day this is more of a spring summer scent to me but you can wear it during the the winter season if you want to the top notes in it is apple the middle notes in it is bubblegum caramel and jasmine the base notes are crystal amber and sandalwood this is a very beautiful scent a very floral playful airy scent but it's also very not warm but it has caramel in it so it's sweet very sweet I, it's a beautiful scent victoria's secret definitely needs to put this back on the shelf because I don't want to use it because I know that I can't get my hands on it anymore. So, yes, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my perfume collection. If you guys have any recommendations for me, please leave them down below because I'm going to check them out. And, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you aren't subscribed, you can click on my face and subscribe. And I'll also be putting another video on the screen so that you guys can check that out and just see what else I do on my channel. So yeah, I love y'all and I will see you guys very, very soon.